Glory to God. Praise God. Hello. Hello, hello. So this is my dream. I had it like two weeks ago. And I've been excited to share it because when when I had the dream, um, when the Lord gave him the interpretation, I uh I never thought uh I never thought of that. So let me, I guess let me tell you the dream and you're going to be wondering, okay, I never thought of that before. I never thought of this before because we always think about Christians and what Christians are going to go through in the end times. So in the dream, I was in the Middle East. I don't know what part of the Middle East I was in, but I was in the Middle East. Okay. And because I seen Middle Eastern people and I seen, you know, the land and everything. And I remember, um, it, it, it felt like a, a vision. In my opinion, it felt like a vision because my, I wasn't really in the dream, but my eyes were in it. You know, you, did that make sense? Yeah. <laughs> so I was looking in it. So, um, I remember, um, seeing Muslim people, you know how they nail down and they pray. Um, they were in this building and they nailed down and prayed and all that. And then I remember, um, seeing them kind of like disappear. And then I seen the Christian people, um, in the same building, um, praying as well, kneeling and praying as well. And then it took me into the out outer parts into the streets of the middle East. And people were, I seen men just running, running and just scared, just running like like in fear, and I, as I seen this guy running, um, just one p Pacific guy, I seen him running, and he was praying at the same time and running, praying and running, praying and running, and that's what I seen, just people running everywhere, f scared, and this one man guy, he was just praying and running, praying and running. Uh, <laughs> you remember the interpretation? Yeah, uh, it's, it's really good and uh, it sounds so good, but uh, it, it, it don't look good. <laughs> yeah, it sounds good, but it don't look good. So I came with you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and uh, you know, it, it's really it's, it's a good thing for us to <laughs> get updated in some things like this, and uh, you know, it's gonna be end time. It's end time dream. You know, what she saw was an end time dream. And uh, it's going to be, uh, I, I was at work meditating on this dream. And God was putting in my spirit that it's going to be a reminder. It's, it's a reminder dream. Because a lot of people out there, when Christians are talking about end time, their thing is just for Christians. Yeah. So, but if you see in this dream, uh, it was everybody. Everybody. Everybody was running. A lot of people want to go to church, thinking that they're going to see Jesus in the church. Uh, Muslims are even coming inside the church also, thinking that they're going to see Jesus. But uh, this dream and this vision is a reminder to every soul, all of us out there, to get prepared. Because it's going to be... For Christians, it's going to be for Muslims. It's going to be for no matter how uh, you are a religion. It doesn't matter. Yes, atheists. Uh, we don't uh, like... It doesn't matter. Any time <laughs> that is coming, it doesn't matter who or where or how much or uh, how big your religion is. You know? Religion. But one thing I want us to get in this dream the Muslims we are running to church. They never go to. Ch they, they don't go to church. They go to a, a, a Mecca. They go to a, a, a mosque, but they were running to church. And remember what the Bible said: that the first shall be the last, and the last shall then be shall first. will be the first. So what does that mean at that time of period time? At that time of end time? A lot of Christians will be at the back. And a lot of Muslims who saw the good things, the testimonies of the saints, will turn back and say, 
from today I'm going to church. I'm going to be with Christ. I'm going to love Christ. So it's a reminder to everyone mm -hmm. that the end time is going to be for everybody. It's going to be for the babies. It's going to be for the oldest. It's going to be for the churches. It's going to be for the Muslims. It's going to be for, for, for uh, uh, Buddhas. It's going to be for, for all religions. To, to crown it all, it's going to be for the whole world. So yeah. if it's going to be for the whole world, that means nobody is being separated from this. Wow, that's crazy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mm. I mean, I even, I, re I hardly have any time dream, so this whole thing just shocked me. Yeah, so it's amazing, and uh, I really, I so much meditate in this dream, because uh, it's not something that you can just come up and put off. So the Antichrist, he ain't gonna like nobody. You know, he's not gonna be, <laughs> He's not gonna be favorite. He's, he's not gonna be. I'm gonna favor Christians. I'm gonna favor Muslims. I'm gonna favor Buddhism. I'm gonna favor. Uh, you uh, went uh, Jewish. Oh Jewish God, no, Judaism. It, it, it doesn't matter. Wow. But you know, as Christians, we just always like personally me. I ain't talking about everybody. But personally me, I'm always like, ah, oh, the Muslims are gonna be like super powerful and they gonna blow up everything. <laughs> Yeah, and it's some super nice Muslim people. I'm not saying that because we live around nothing but Muslim people, and these are some sweet, sweet people. They don't bother us. Yeah. But I'm just talking about the 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 reputation of uh, you know of uh, how powerful sometimes they can get. Like yeah. they just want to kill themselves to go to their heaven. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I've heard of stuff like that. You know, yeah. But, but again, we're not talking about Muslims or talking about yeah. Christians. We are, dream, we're just, yeah, we're just talking about the, how the end time is going to be. Mm -hmm. is a reminder to every soul that it's going to be for everybody. Nobody is, is, uh, is going to be uh, 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 Counted uh, out. favorable. No. Yeah. You know, if you remain on it on that time, it's going to be on you. You know, if you are Christians, the trials is going to be out there. So now... I have seen a lot of Muslims who run to church and become Christians. I'm from Nigeria, mm -hmm. and we have most of them in Nigeria. They are big prophets. They, when, they, when they run to Christ and give their life to Christ, God used them Man, beyond awesome. imagination. I love that. You know, be, if, you, if, you, if you look up, you see a lot of them that, that have changed to be, a, 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 to be Christians. I and love God. That uses their ministry so powerful because right. uh, we don't, uh, you know, we are Christians. We don't need to be uh, judgmental in every any society because anybody, anybody can change in a minute. <laughs> you know, exactly. God we don't can, need to be judgmental. God really can don't. come to you in a minute yeah. and speak to you in a minute, right. and nobody can question that because immediately you are changing you're seeing a new thing and the bible said all things has passed away and everything has become new right you know so wow. it's a reminder yes. how the end time is going to be yes. end time is not going to see you as a baby end time is not going to see you as the richest man End time is not going to see you as a Christian. No respect of person. <laughs> no respect. The Bible said God has no respect for any man. Right. You know, so, and that's the way it's going to be. But uh, at the same time, we're going to encourage ourselves, you mm -hmm. know, to do the will of God, to keep the commandments of God, to love God, and also to love our neighbors. You know, because there's, there a lot of little things that can deprive us from the love of God. Wow. You know, so it's a reminder. Mm. Uh, let us... Uh, yeah, it's a good reminder. Uh, yeah, let us, I don't know if it's a reminder. It's a good revelation because yeah. I don't know. It just I always assume that the Antichrist is going to be, you know, from that part of Islam or I really did. Like, I mean, he might still be. I don't know. Yeah. I haven't had any type of... Uh, so we have Vision to prepare ourselves, prepare our mind, and uh, mm -hmm. keep the will, the, the will of God. And let us be soaked and be abide and be equipped right. by the word of God. Right. 
And I just want to say this, like, don't get discouraged, Christians. Mm -hmm. Don't just get discouraged because I truly believe with all my heart that when you are truly saved, we're not talking about lukewarm Christians. We're talking about true Christians that are truly faithful to God, that he will never leave us nor forsake us. He will never allow us to beg for bread, especially if your life is totally consumed in him. So don't fear this because we say that um, things are going to happen even to Christians. But remember, God can protect us. He can protect us. But lukewarm Christians, um, you never know what will happen. I always feel that way. But God can protect whoever he wants, yeah. whoever he wants. Yeah, if you go you know? if, you, if you go to Romans, Romans chapter 9, 15 mm-hmm. and 16, you see, you see that God shows mercy to whomever he wants to show mercy. He, okay. Yeah, so. That is awesome. And, I love uh, that. Yeah. No, for real. <laughs> I'm, I'll be extra, right? <laughs> I love my wife. I am so extra. <laughs> I love my wife. And, uh, okay, well, we uh, keep believing and keep trusting also. I always Amen. love to say this. But remember this, and God loves us, and he will always protect us. And God, You know what? I like how you say that God loves us. He loves us all so much. Yeah. Does it, don't, He don't care where you at right now. Yeah. Remember, he loves you. Yeah. I, man. We haven't been saved all our life. We haven't been saved all our life. And that's one thing I know that when even when I lived in sin, I know that he loves us. You yeah. know? So we have to open up the door. We have to welcome him into our heart, you know, yeah. and know that he is real. Know that he is God. Yeah. So remember this and uh, keep loving and keep uh, sharing the word of God. And keep strengthening one another because yeah. the Bible says, iron, sharpened iron. Yes. Remember us, and God loves you, and we love you, and we're also praying for you. Amen.